For my own intellectual understanding, would, uh, I'd like to ask more about this uh, awareness and, and attention. It seems that um, the question is, is there awareness without attention? Because as I, as I look at you, my attention is on you, but I, I look at the oranges on the orange tree behind you, and as soon as my attention goes there, and as I've just mentioned it, everybody else is aware of them. So we say, oh, it caught my attention. This, this attention is the same attention throughout the attention that you can use to find the presence. For most people, when they speak about attention, attention is their most uh, they're defining themselves through where the attention goes. Most people, they, when they say I, they're really speaking about their attention. My attention goes here, my attention goes there. My attention is in presence, my attention is in mind. So wherever the attention goes, that is what they are feeling, their sense of self is going with it. Now for, for one who is interested in living a more peaceful life and a more uh, still life, then it is very good to keep the attention resting in the heart as much as you're able. Resting in the spiritual heart or, or the sense, I am. Just allow the attention to rest inside the, the sense of pure uh, existence or pure being. And just get used to the attention just kind of uh, resting inside that, inside that part of yourself without it moving out anywhere else. That is the real meaning of just get used to being alone. Just get used to being alone as presence. So first of all, in order to bring everything into a more um, balanced state, we need to get our attention to rest in presence. As that becomes more clear for you, and you see that something is kind of uh, becoming more refined and more still, you will also be able to see that there is something inside us that even observes the movement of attention. Something even watches attention. Because we say, my attention is going here. My attention is going there. My attention is all over the place today. What is it inside us that, that watches attention? And can that which watches attention, can that itself be watched? It must be the awareness of the intention uh, of the attention that is aware of attention moving and changing and switching and, and swapping. Uh. Is that clear for you? Yes. Um, but can attention go all the way back to awareness, or can awareness be aware of a, of awareness as as awareness through attention? I mean, or does attention just peter out when it comes to? This is what you must find out, because I wouldn't be uh, trying to teach. It. And I wouldn't want to speculate about that. I would encourage that becomes your own inquiry. Just so you just become very still in yourself. And you see, okay, my attention now is resting in presence. That is clear. Now what is it that watches even presence? Now I'm stepping even back a stage. 
what is here which is prior to attention? Do you even need attention to discover yourself? Ultimately, if you are prior to attention, is attention needed to discover yourself? Maybe experientially at first the answer would be yes, but there will come a certain point where it's clear for you that the attention, it doesn't really matter uh, if the attention is uh, trying to recognize itself, that that will not apply to you. But I would, I would not want to sort of say that as a teaching. I would, I would encourage you to be inside that yourself and say, okay, I've looked this way and this is what I've seen. A beautiful uh, experiment or inquiry is to see what if the attention doesn't go anywhere? If the attention doesn't go anywhere, what then is there? It seems as if uh, attention's natural um, tendency is to move. And it's always being, uh, it seems, it's always being pulled out from awareness by what is happening, what is going on, what is, uh, Do you know? Do, do, do you know what I mean? It seems like it's 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 always being pulled one way one way or the other. It seems that all the sensations, all the um, all the stimulus, are sort of uh, what attention is, is is grabbing hold of, but the awareness is there, watching all of this happening, and it's just occurring. So it seems it seems that we only, I mean, I can keep changing my attention. I'm putting my attention on this, or that, my thoughts, my feelings, or what's going on around me. Um, it seems that the attention is is mine, to to put wherever I want it to. And this you is what this 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 you say this attention is mine. It belongs to me. Yes, it's the awareness of, of, of this attention. That wherever this attention is moving, uh, I, I become aware of it. Then, then, then you can let the attention do whatever it wants. Yeah. And, it, and in one way, if that, that is clear for you, you're beyond it. But it seems to, to just take the attention off attention. And it will come, <laughs> come to rest. <laughs> in the awareness that it is kind of um, coming out of. Is this? Mm. My encouragement, my, my deep encouragement, is first come to that place inside yourself where you are fully resting as presence. Where presence has become your default natural state. So you are not kind of fighting with the mind so much but you are resting in presence. When one is fully resting in presence, then to look beyond presence, it will not feel so uh, kind of uh, heady. It won't feel heady, it will f it, because it's a very simple thing. But if there is still some uh, divided energies in us, it will feel very complicated. But if our, if our, hmm, sense of self is simply abiding as presence then it's very clear and very natural so I would keep bringing all of those things back into a kind of uh, a stillness inside you which is always here inside this 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 sense of being just get used to spending uh, five minutes here ten minutes there just being very quiet in yourself and just bringing everything back here
get used to resting inside yourself. Resting whilst being awake. So you're in that state where you are, you're naturally alert, you're naturally awake, but you're not thinking. You're just here as kind of alert presence. Because built into presence is a beautiful vigilance, which sees when the, the mind is coming in with ideas and it's discarding them. It's discarding them. And just be in your own simplicity, in your absolute simplicity. And, and keep bringing all of these uh, complexities, bring them into the, the stillness itself. So something is just settling down, settling down, settling down. When your state of uh, consciousness has shifted from personal consciousness to universal consciousness, then you will be able to look what is even aware of that. But I would really encourage first that that becomes a very uh, still place inside you in which to inquire further. Because once we come to that point which is beyond presence, you must already have come to the place where the mind cannot influence you anymore. Because if the mind still has an influence on you, then you will not be able to really look deeper. It will, it will, it will come in with, with all kinds of stuff. And if we still have an interest in it, it will, it, it will take us down a few cul-de-sacs, a few dead ends. So just be in that place where you have sort of, you have not got rid of the mind, but you have fully... Um, you have fully come to the place in yourself where the mind cannot really intimidate you in the way that previously it could. The interest in the mind is not so great anymore. I, I would really uh, encourage that. Thank you, Paul. It, seem, it seems that uh, attention is, is a kind of universal thing that we all share. And according to our interest, personal interest, there goes the attention. There we go. Now yeah. if you keep this in this attention in the heart, as you say. Then where else is it to go? Where where else but back into its source? Yeah. Now I have to discover this. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. In fact, in the heart, there's a beautiful uh, book called The Heart of Awareness. It's one of the, I think it's the Ashtavakra Gita, The Heart of Awareness. And in the first line of it, it says, um, if you want to realize yourself, you have to forget about everything. So all of our kind of ideas about uh, spirituality and all of our ideas about, you know, it's like this or like that, they are good, they, they have brought us to a certain point. But as we are kind of coming into the living realization of this, we have to be prepared to sort of, you know, take off our shoes of knowledge and walk into, the, into, into, into God's bedroom naked. We have to just take all of that off and say, okay, I just leave aside all that now. It, it's good, it has brought me here and wonderful. But now I, I leave, I take those shoes off now and I just come in naked. And then you're sort of unburdened by trying to, uh, trying to get it to work in any way that, that suits your particular way of seeing it. And you're just, again, in your innocence. And you're seeing something very, uh, very simply. Because truth is so simple. It's so simple. But because we have got so many ideas about it, uh, that is where all the complications come. Now, we, we all have that, so we're all, we're all going to be challenged to let go of some of our most cherished ideas. But, but every time we let go of some of those ideas, it's like whew, a great unburdening is taking place. 
because we are coming more and more empty. There's more and more space in us. There's more and more silence in us. There's less noise, less working out, less psychological uh, structure is there. And more simply the, the essence of spirit is more there. And that is a, it's a very simple thing. It's a, because there is no such thing as a person who is going to become awake. It's like the, the personal self has to sort of move into the background a little bit. This is beyond sort of self-help. We, we could say our personality is perfectly imperfect. That there's no, we're not going to get our personality just right. We, we just, it's just not going to happen. No one's ever done it yet, I don't believe. So we have to accept that there are certain aspects of our personality which are set a certain way. And if we feel to work on them, we can. It's good that there's an openness for that. But that, that not all of our attention is directed into that. And that we begin to recognize the deeper sense of ourself, which was there before the personality came. And that again, we begin returning to our original being, our original self. And that we, we kind of know ourself as that. And when you know yourself as that, there is a kind of a great acceptance of your of your kind of personality. It's just like, okay, that's just the way it is. It's playing out like that. And you know, I'm I'm responsible, I I will try to work on some of these things, but ultimately I'm not looking for kind of uh salvation there because it doesn't exist there. Whatever you fix on that realm, the three other things will pop up in different places and you will always feel like you're putting out fires. You feel, okay, now if I can just sort out that problem, life will be okay. But, you know, you sort out that problem and, you know, this arises. So it's, if we can see that and be honest about that, then we say, okay, there isn't perfection there. Where can I discover a, a kind of more reliable, more trustworthy sense of uh, wholeness? And that is to be found only in the spiritual heart, not even in the emotional heart can we find that. Emotional heart is also tricky, but in the spiritual heart, in that sense of pure being, then we will find that. And the more we're able to, to be inside that, that will also uh, bring healing to those parts of ourself which are uh, feel separate or feel damaged or feel lost. That will bring natural healing to those parts. This is a very uh, sort of all-inclusive uh, uh, path and it is not a new path. There's nothing kind of new agey about this. This is, this is as old as the hills. This is, this knowledge or this uh, inquiry uh, has been passed down in a very uh, simple, very clear, very direct way uh, since the beginning of time. People have been meeting like this, just sharing like this. Not philosophy, not speculation, not religion, but a direct inquiry into the nature of one's own uh, heart, one's own being. And if there is a, something alive in you, uh, a calling inside you which feels yes to this, something feels yes to this, then it must be that grace is alive in you. And it must be that grace is wanting you to recognize your deeper self. Or to put it another way, that your deeper self is born into this world. Because most of us know that to just stay as kind of mental identity or emotional identity it's just going to be too much of a, a kind of crazy roller coaster it's going to be too there's it's too uh, in my own case my own mind was just so uh, violent inwardly violent and so something got pushed out of that and uh, that was a great blessing that somehow we get pushed out of our own conditioning and we get pushed into, into God's conditioning.
and then again something feels peaceful, relaxed, quiet, simple, happy, and content. Naked before God. Naked before God. Before yeah. Of yeah. Everything. Yeah. Thank you.